Hey, okay, this is Wayne with Trey County Locksmith Service, and we're checking out um, how to sharpen a multi-tool, or Leatherman, or a Gerber tool, or whatever you want to refer to it as. Um, I'm going to need this to be able to pull my legs out to set the correct uh, angle on this. But basically what I'm doing is I'm going to just spread this all the way out, and I'm going to put a nice utilitarian style edge on this because this thing gets you know some pretty some pretty good abuse um, we'll kind of show this blade what it looks like before and after and we'll check it out here so you can kind of see what it looks like there's no secondary bevel uh, the the back cut is pretty steep on this one already uh, so we'll just leave it alone it's a little steeper on this side because of the serrations on that side um, that's why we don't need to uh, manually do a back cut on this one. We'll just be putting that primary edge on here. Um, so we'll check this out. Uh, we can see how, how sharp it is right now. Let me just put that on there. And we'll just weigh this thing up. One, two, Four, five. Oh, five and a half. I'm sorry. Now it's five. Five and a half. Six. Six and a half. Seven. Seven and a half. Oops. Eight. Eight and a half. Nine. Nine and a half. Ten. So we're at ten right now. Um, that's not good. That's not going to cut it. So that didn't even break it. Um, so let's undo all these. We'll pull this string over here. And we'll get this thing sharpened and put back into shape. start sharpening on this thing and uh, we can use these we'll just use the corners of the stone to get the serrations and the serrated areas and uh, we'll go from there so we can just kind of work that in there just like so and then really kind of take some shipping and some of the bad stuff that's going on with this edge out of here Now with the serration, since it's a half a half, I'm kind of rolling that back in there and just rolling that corner in there to be able to take care of that. And then we'll come up here. Now on the back side, I'm just barely touching it. Arkansas stones. Again, using the corners to get into the, uh, the cracks and the crevices and the, of the serrated end. And I'm just kind of drawing it through there, running it through both ways, making sure that it's really good. Both of those edges really good. And then with this one, 
on this side, since this side's a little flatter on the serrated side, I'm really concentrated on the edge of the knife, the flat part, and really I'm just taking this down just to knock the edges off. So we'll get an up close shot of this just so you can see that you don't need a specialty stone to do this. And that's all I'm doing. Just like so. Just rubbing that corner in there and then rubbing it back this way or this way. Nothing too special. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit this side over here. I'm go in for some flush with these. Got our Indian stone. Same thing, use the corner when we need to. That's really just going to a nice, nice, nice polish and nice finish on that thing. Look at that. Sure. That the top is getting really polished up. Oh, that's gonna look good. All right, so we'll take this and let's see what we get here. Brush off the powder and such. And we'll just take like this. We'll see what we did here. So you can definitely see where we were working. The area we we're working right here is nice and polished, and we got that all the way down into the serrations. We can see the other side. So let's pop this in here. hang some weight on here. We were at over 10 ounces before. So let's see if we cut that down quite a bit. Two, three, four, five, and a half. Five and a half. So we were at like 10, 10 and a half. And we managed to make that about half of that. Um, so.